Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, this is new body cam video showing the moment a Jacksonville police officer kills a man wielding an axe. Put the hatchet down! Put the axe down! We pause the video right after that because seconds later, the officer shoots and kills 43-year-old Kevin Mahan. That incident happened back in April, but the body cam video was just made public this afternoon. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny covered the shooting when it happened, and he's joining us live from outside JSO headquarters to break down this video and explain what led up to the deadly encounter. Eric? Yeah, right, well, before we begin, I first want to acknowledge that the man who was shot and killed by police reportedly suffered from a mental illness. And although we are not showing the actual shooting, uh, we will explain the graphic details. Thursday, April 21st, Jacksonville police are called to a family-owned property on Morris Avenue in reference to a family member with a mental illness vandalizing a home. That man was later identified as 43-year-old Kevin Mahan. As officers search the property, Mahan is seen coming out of a wooded area holding an axe. Put the hatchet down! Put the axe down! Put the axe down! Put the axe down! We can see the axe in Mahan's hand, but the wide-angled lens of the body cam makes it difficult to tell how close he is to the officer. We're keeping the video paused because a second later, the officer fired a single shot that hits Mahan in the head, and then he immediately drops to the ground. This video from Sky 4 gives you an idea of the size of the property police searched when they were looking for him. Earlier that morning, police showed up at the same property after receiving a 911 call about a mentally ill man who was causing problems. The complaint said that he was uh, he had cut the power to the house and done a few different things. At the time, officers could not locate Mahan, so they came back much later after another 911 call about Mahan vandalizing a home on the property. And it was during that police visit that Mahan was shot and killed by an officer. Mahan was no stranger to law enforcement. Back in December of last year, a police officer tased him during an arrest at this West Side gas station after he allegedly attempted to carjack a man and verbally threatened to kill him. Mahan pled no contest to resisting arrest and was sentenced to 30 days in jail. In 2013, he was sentenced to three years in prison after he was convicted on an illegal gun possession charge. And in 1998, he was convicted on two counts of armed robbery and one count of attempted armed robbery. Now, the officer who shot and killed Mahan was not identified because of Marcy's Law, which grants the officer confidentiality. Uh, coming up at 11, we will take a look at another body cam video uh, that, we, that was just released today, and this involves another officer-involved shooting. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.